Morning routine, just like any other trucking company. Wake up, get your coffee, drink, coke, get your food ready, go out, do your pre-trip, uh, make sure your truck and trailer is secure, and uh, just get your day started. So you just just drive, go to your shipper receiver, get checked in with the shipper receiver, again, get on the PCS, let them know you're at your shipper receiver, and then once you're loaded, just notify them again on that PCS, hit loaded, depart, and then they leave you alone. You don't hear from them for the rest of the day. I've done flatbed, tankers, heavy haul, wreckers, buses, of course your 53 foot dry vans, everything else in between. I've been fortunate in 33 years of driving. A lot of companies give me a lot of chances to improve my skills, and I've done the same with others coming up through the ranks. I have no accidents in 33 years. I have no chargeable accidents. Record's clean because I take what I do serious. Never lost my license, never lost my DOT card. When you take this business serious, you keep a good record. You stay employed for as long as you want to stay employed. As a driver back in 1983, 84, I made $8 an hour. I know, hold on, eight bucks an hour to drive a truck. But you gotta learn. Well, it's 2021 now. I no longer make $8 an hour. Here at Midwag, I do six figures because I do what they need me to do. I'll run the wrenches for them, I'll drive the trucks for them, I'll run the record for them. So if you want to be safe and you want a good career, Midway's the way to go. They treat me with respect, I show them respect. So therefore, I get paid for what I do and what I know. What's more important to me, the mileage or the route? Mileage is good until you don't get miles because they're short hauls. You need to have a base. Mileage and overall pay for the day, you, there's a minimum. A lot of companies will do minimum, some don't. As long as you, with over the road driver, regional drivers, it's your weekly. You, you look at your mileage, you look at your dock time, so you don't always get paid detention time because the companies you represent don't. So as long as you're making good money at the end of the week as an over the road driver or regional driver, that's how we look at things. We're not local, so we don't get paid hourly for every hour we're, we're out there or the companies would go broke because we're out there for 70 hours a week. They're not gonna give us $40 an hour like we could earn as an over the road driver, regional driver. We make good monies, regional and over road drivers because we choose to. Major problems with shipments. Midway, we specialize in doing what other people can't do. Uh, I've picked up loads for Midway that another carrier has dropped down, missed it by a day or two, and then we get there and of course the shipper wants to know why we're late. And I let them know, the broker called us, we were just notified there was a load available, and um, I realized the load's a day or two late for being picked up, but we just literally got notified an hour ago, and I got there in, in an hour to pick their load up. So yeah, we run across that quite a bit. We don't do the late things, we make up for other people's mistakes, and you just gotta explain to the shipper. When you're late, it's really not us, it's the broker that dropped the ball, or another carrier that just didn't bother showing up because it wasn't important enough to them. But we make up the difference where other carriers fall short. Stress in driving alone, it's uh, like no other stress. Because you're out there most of the time by yourself, there's nobody to talk to, so you think. But here at Midway, we have people to talk to. We have several people to talk to. We have our, our lead dispatchers. We have, uh, like Seth, he's over our dispatchers. He does everything we can. We have other people, driver personnel to talk to. Of course, talk to your wife or your loved one, whether it's a man or a woman. You got your other friends and other drivers to lean on. There's always somebody you can reach out and talk to somebody, but stress is definitely part of the job. There's no getting around it. You just got to learn how to deal with it, what works for you as an individual, and you're never alone here at Midway. Home time, in general, is depending on the company you work for and what you need as a driver and what the company expects, which you always know going through the door when you accept a job. Some companies are your home every other day. Some your home once a week. Some companies like to keep you out there for four months, three months, six weeks, four weeks. I get home every weekend at Midway. That's our understanding and they, they make sure I'm home. I get my reset hours here every weekend here in Pineville, North Carolina. This company really wants you to get home. You let them know when you need to be home, they'll get you home. You get dispatched obviously from your company. You go where they tell you to go because that's the information they're given by the broker. Bad address. So you just pick up the phone and say, hey, bad address. We need to figure out what's going on. And they're always on a quick because we all lose money when we go to the bad place. 
they call the broker, they get a real address, and we go to the next place. You'll get paid a couple extra bucks for going to the second place. The most important part is just getting the freight picked up, keeping the, cap the uh, customer happy, keeping the receiver happy, and keeping the company happy. If they're all happy, then you're happy making money. Distractions are a big thing for us truck drivers out on the road, even whether you're over the road driver, regional or local. You have people driving by you on the phones, putting their makeup on. You have animals, especially deer to watch out for. You have road construction, people on the road, making our roads better. So you gotta really keep an eye on what's going on in front of you and behind you. It's real important to know what's going on around you at all times so you can react to all your surroundings. What I do to stay focused is, I stay awake, I get my rest. I know what's around me. Um, when I start to get tired, I pull off, I take a break, go get me a cup of coffee or Coke, whatever I need to do. You, the biggest thing in our thing is get your rest. You have to get your rest. If you don't get your rest, you're not gonna be good to anybody. So that's why you gotta be honest with your dispatcher, with any company you work for, just be honest. If you didn't get your sleep, let them know you didn't get your sleep, because then you can stay focused and doing what you need to do and be safe out there for everybody. Safety, well, I've been a safety manager with other companies for several years now. Safety is utmost important to me and Midway and every company I've ever worked for. Without safety, you have nothing. Um, you have a wreck, it costs everybody money. It costs you money, it costs the company money, it costs insurance money. So safety has to be first in everybody's uh, view. My favorite part of being a driver, I've been doing it for 33 years. I met a lot of good people. Saw a lot of the country that most people don't get to see. I actually get paid to see the country. Get paid quite well here at Midway. I enjoy helping people, I enjoy training other drivers. Uh, I get trained also, I try to learn new things. Just an overall a good career choice for people, men and women. It's just really good. Good sense of freedom. It's just the American way for me.